but you know we've hit we've had a a, 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 a generation defining moment really we've hit this pandemic this covid 19 massive kind of pandemic which has caused worldwide devastation and uh, has highlighted both the i suppose the fragility and the um the connectedness of our current world is that the fact that this thing could spread so quickly uh, worldwide regardless of the responses by the various different governments and different countries it's just crazy to think of how much we've all been impacted by this in the uk there was uh, furlough and um, there's been lots of different changes uh, you can just work from home um, suddenly digital disruption which has come from a, a need to change the hunger for change has never been there before in some of the large organizations there's always been a trust issue with individuals working from home what happens if they if they don't do their work what happens if they don't get on with each other what happens if they they just skive and don't do any work at all. Whereas now, it's, it's everybody's in the same market. Everyone has to work from home. So with that in mind, suddenly this huge uh, digital disruption, these digital transformations are happening overnight where humans are now able to work remotely. They don't have to be in a big glass box somewhere, um, in a big organization, a big, a big building somewhere. They can work remotely. And these big organizations are not just the likes of Google who have now allowed working from home full-time forever, but businesses like Barclays Bank and Lloyds Bank. The large organizations which enable this, this working remotely where they've never really enabled it before because of the, the issues with trust and security and it's really accelerated the rate of change. I think that's something that we need to talk about because it can be an ex what we would call an extinction event. At the end of the day, like this is the beginning of last year, these numbers were taken really, or the first quarter of, of 2019. And the down the FTSE saw the biggest quarterly drops in the first three months of the year since 1987. Huge drops. In the US, the price of barrel of West Texas Intermediate, which is the price of oil, turned negative for the first time in history. Now, of course, things have bounced and things are leveling in various different markets, but these are almost unprecedented kind of changes. And if you're in an organization which is globally reaching and, and, um, and there is so much change coming, that actually you have to respond or else you are gonna be extinct because you've got to respond quickly to these things. In the UK, the British banks had a, a dictate from the government to, to enable individuals who are suffering from COVID uh, financial issues to allow them for uh, mortgage holidays. And now a new product effectively, a new change to their systems was rolled out in a matter of weeks. And having worked inside very large organizations, those banks, um, I saw how long it took for them to change systems in the old normal, when things were, I suppose, um, rolled up in bureaucratic tape when there wasn't the there wasn't the hunger to change there wasn't desire to change it would take months and months to get pieces of paper signed off but actually when you cut through all of that bureaucracy and you cut through it all the organization could pivot and the organization could release product changes in extremely rapid cycles when they were put under the um point of the pressure to do that from the government of course things kind of flown back again and there are still changes that are, are, are now taking two or three years to roll out. But the point here is that if you don't pivot with that desire, then things aren't going to aren't go well and organizations will wither and die.